Welcome back, everyone, to Wednesday Sampler Series, Funky Ale Edition. We've got here a oak-aged Michigan sour beer, Oro de Calabaza. It's from Jolly Pumpkin Artisanal Ales. It's an 8.07% alcohol, or no, 8% alcohol. So, so they got, I guess, yeah, let's go right into this. Smell it. Whoa. Yeah, I already mentioned, like, the... The weedy, earthy, weedy, 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 yeah, weedy, 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 weedy. You know, it says weeds. it says spicy, peppery, and gentle hot bouquet is what we should get from this special golden ale. It smells, it smells funky. Like I think for the last two, they actually smelled like the name it gives. You know, it's a funky, funky Wednesdays. That's weird. That is weird. It's gone. Yeah. It hit like instant, and then it was like, and then gone. Yeah, definitely like a roller coaster of tartness and the sourness. A little sour. Then I actually get almost the, like that pepperiness. Kind of like a table okay, beer. Okay, okay. I think the that, pepperiness stood okay. out. I was going to say kind of like a table beer. Table beer. We had that table beer. Exactly. Right? Like a little yeah. bit more, maybe stronger table beer. Well, yeah, stronger, but like more flat lined, I guess, and like note tasting. Like, like, I, I, like I get where the Belgian wheat is coming from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like... The addition of spicy and peppery, like I really only don't necessarily taste like spicy. I guess I taste more peppery, almost more like I don't know, like what would be like a like I mean I guess pepper, but like a plant that would be more like you could say peppercorn without all the heat. Yeah, the I would use the pepper cardamom instead of pepper. Okay, a little much for this. Yeah, I was gonna say more like. More like it would be like an herb that would be more peppery than it would be like spicy. Like an arugula? Yeah, yeah like an arugula or something like that, yeah. Oh shit. Red <laughs> onion. I, as I said that, I kind of got it in the back there. Maybe. Quick question. Yeah. Do you guys agree with the the, uh, the sour rating of 5 out of 11? I mean, on the back of their scale, if 5 is what they would consider middle ground, then sure that this could be middle ground for them. Um, is this sour as in the taste sour or is this sour as in sour beer sour? Maybe that's the, the yeah, I issue maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, if this was a normal scale of one to 11 and we were putting some of these other 11. beers, I think this would be below the one. Like all of those that are up there. Oh yeah, for sure. Which I thought even the Brewery Taru and the Almanac beer those were are sour. They're more sour than this. I like that would be five. that would be more at like a three range, and then this would be more at like a one range mm -hmm. in real life. And then I think right. the other one, the the Phantom Carriage one, would be more at like a six. Yeah. Six for you? All right. I think that realistically, if we're rating it not on like trying to use their scale, but right, clearly right. So moving to, right. clearly moving their beer down to a one because it's. And, and to maybe, me, it is. That's where maybe, that's where maybe it they, starts. They think like, like it's it. You know, hey, if it bottles, it's going to be more sour later on. But it's already been a year. I don't. It's almost been a year. I mean, not really, but close. And so, it, December seventeenth. But still, not not sour for like. You would think eight months, so you'd get a little bit more sour. No, maybe more alcohol content, so on. And it was re-fermented in the bottle, so. I thought maybe it would be higher alcohol percentage than 8%. I also thought it would be more sour over time, but I don't think so. So similar to the others we had recently, the uh, oak cask doesn't really come through at all. And, uh, no, this is an Asian oak. It, compared this is another to, Asian compared oak. to the other ones, right? But as far as the sourness, yeah, like I agree. Like this is definitely a one. If there is an 11 rating type, um, what is their 11 like then? <laughs> but they're, right, I would like to see their 11, and I wonder if their 11 would be back to more around like my 6 or 7. So I shoot, this is yeah. a 5, like maybe what is that necessarily? Yeah. Like? So I want to see them turn it up to 11. I love the artwork. Right? Jolly yeah. Pumpkin, like, on the list. I'll try to remember that name. Alright, so now getting into the very last question of the oh. evening. Which is, do we have to? Is, what would you guys rate this beer? Let's go with uh, Jeff Law. What would you rate this beer? I would rate this a one. I would not finish it if someone even gave it to me. Again, man, I'm not, I'm not a scumbag. <laughs> so 
So you are gonna mention it? This beer is boring. Even after it's been opened, that roller coaster is getting smaller and smaller <laughs> as we speak. If you get, I don't know if you guys noticed, every time yeah, people it went from like a rope swing into the, the first was like to like okay, a, and then okay, let's go. okay, that's fine. It's the type of beer. Now it's like now I'm jumping off a rock. Super like, table beer. <laughs> it's like okay, table. I can definitely table beer. If I mean the scary part is it is eight percent, so it is a lot higher. So it's not necessarily table beer, but this beer has it's like. Could that be why, though, the sourness and the tartness is gone, that it is a little bit higher percentage alcohol? I don't believe that it's 8%, to be honest, but... I would have thought maybe that oak took away some of that sourness and some of that bitterness. What would you rate this beer, Bummer? Alright, so I would have to rate this one a 1. They did give us a false scale, so it's kind of... You know what I'm thinking, though, is uh, what if... We're thrown off because this is the fourth sour we've had tonight. What if we've adapted already to the sour? Whoa. I would and say, coming from a person who doesn't like sours, that I just started to like sour. Don't think no. that's true because I still feel like I taste the sourness in this beer. You're saying right, but I'm just saying it's it's been turned down a bit. And so is our palate shot? What you're saying? Anyway, this is, still, this is still a one. I'm going to finish it, but uh, there are better beers out there. Yes. Charles. Surprisingly, I think I'm going to go with, like, I'm kind of torn because I think I'm at a three with this. And I would say maybe I'd buy this at a bar, but I don't think this would be one that I would want to buy at a bar. Like, I think this would be something I'd seen in immediately skip past it i think the almanac one was the more appealing in nature in terms of it had blueberries and blackberries <clears throat> and it was oak aged and dry hopped and kind of all the same things that this one does but with a better flavor and a, a more sourish taste to it yep. and then at the same time i think that would pair a little bit better with like I don't know, I, I, in terms of like higher quality food, I guess, right? I think this beer would do well in terms of, hey, I'm coming over for a party and I want to bring a unique beer, so I'm going to bring this. And I think for that reason, that's why I'm at a three because I, I wouldn't buy this probably again other than for a specific occasion. So that's why I, I'd recommend it to a friend because it's an easy recommendation at fourteen dollars a bottle. But buy it myself again at a bar. Buy it in larger form. Nah.